Well, right, next sermon impulse. So we've got 58, ooh, and 47. Well, we knew some of these were, were, were going to come, eh? Uh, that might, uh, I might be going to spoil some of the things that I had sort of planned, however. Um, right, so 47 is going to be the command card. Um, 58th. Right, that's not the primary card, so... Yeah, there's a chance it might just repair. Um, yeah, it's got one unit. That armoured unit that's a one-step unit, so it might repair. Well, of course it could could use the the combat tactic, couldn't it? Because we're going to be doing this first, and that's going to be activating. So activate the forty-seventh. Now, what we've now got? What is it? Four of the units eliminated. Three of the wire units, and there was one infantry as well. So they've not got any. Not get any units in the reserve, and let's say combat tactic in the support cards, infantry infiltration. So, okay, let's have a look. Okay, so it looks like we've got the forty seventh in a bit of trouble now, haven't we? Um, they have this infantry here, which is out in the open and okay still, and they've got this elite armored unit in this forest. This is the one that I was hopefully going to try and have an attack at which it might be a mistake to be honest but everything else in here they've got unsupplied here well in low supply and these two units they're all surrounded um so yeah they're in a bit of bother so can they fight their way out maybe or is that an option possibly well we had we had just the division card for the second Panzer and there was a couple of checks made at least, so that was the last impulse that they had in fact, wasn't it? So, no roadblocks and the army objective marker needs to be reached, so let's see now. They've got two, this is a Führer Brigade and there's a second Panzer and I think it's an infantry that's underneath. So all of them are in low supply, so they've got the this other movement method, eh? um, 9.25. Um, so, well, they will try and move via movement method one if they can. And if not, then we move the other units and then if they can move, they're wanting to try and get in a place where they can get supply. Um, movement method one has exit the map, which they can't do. The only other option is enter an empty allied BP hex, and they can't do that either. So they're not going to be looked at until we've, we've looked at moving the, the units that aren't, don't have supply issues. So let's look at them first. Now we've got unit, well he's selector number eight. This is the, the best one, selector number three. Okay, so have a look and see. I don't think there's going to be an awful lot of movement now. He's, he's, he's surrounded, he's surrounded. Um, this guy could do something, admittedly. And this guy, I'm not so sure, is going to, is going to move from there. Uh, he, might, he might do a check to attack there, possibly. But Okay, let me look. Uh, okay, movement method seven. Always seems to crop up somewhere. Uh, this is the only infantry unit adjacent to this unit. Um, uh, what am I? Seven. Aye, seven. The unit is only, already the only non bracket German infantry unit adjacent to the allied unit. The German unit does not move, and its movement is considered, considered complete. So that's him. And I get the feeling that's probably all that's going to happen. Because I was forgetting this, this guy is actually holding this unit surrounded as well. Um, if you remember, I think. We looked at the possibility of of even moving over here, but this unit's bracketed. Sorry, that's off camera, isn't it? Um, this unit's bracketed, so he's not exerting zone of control into this hex. So, even this unit moving into here, um, or here, well, actually, it couldn't move into there. You'd have to move into there. Uh, it's going to break surround on that guy. So, um, yeah, this. That's it. There's nothing. 
there's nothing. And once we've done with any movement there, these guys can't move either. They're all trapped. So it's really about if they could consider um, fighting their way out, maybe. But um, it's, it's unlikely. There may be a, there'll probably be a dice roll, but um, the odds are quite low, I think. Um, okay. Yeah, that's the only movement I can see. So, attack determinations now. Um, or what did I say? This is unit selector number three. So, he could be considered... Now, hang on, what have we got under here, though? 21 and 34. They're both single-step units as well. So, I remember I almost... Well, I did actually make a blunder, didn't I? I was looking at that guy being a weed unit. But they can't... Both of them stack together, then, I don't think. Uh, check each active unit with at least two steps. So, yeah, you could know You can... You can check either of them because they've both got one step. Now this guy, however, we can. Um, he's in low supply, so that's not a problem. I don't think is it, or is it? Maybe it's, uh, there's something diff there's something slightly different with the Germans, isn't there? Um, no, I may mean, not exit the map. If I'm able to try supply, use movement method one. Yeah, been there. No combat tactic may be played in that unit support, but maybe for other, I may not receive replacements. Yeah. So it's, yeah, it's just the fact that they can't. Um, so one of them could be the, uh, could still become a lead unit. He was selector number seven. So this is selector number three. So we need to look at this guy first. Um, so the checks could be here, here, or here. Now this is the only one he's going to get support from these guys. So what did I say? We had five in there. Five strength. Uh, six strength. And himself is ten. So that would be ten. And this is this is five. He gets a plus one for the adjacent unit and a minus one for the dispersed. So that's 10 against 5, so that's that's 2 to 1 odds. So I think that's probably his best shot, actually, because this is going to be... He's got an IP and he's adjacent. So he's going to get plus 2 there. That's just 1 to 1. This one's going to be 4 against 3. So... Yeah. So the check's going to be in there. The odds are going to be 2 to 1. Um. The support card, right? Because because elite is a weak unit on either side, so that's not gonna it's not gonna modify. Uh, support card shows a portable combat tactic. Um. Uh, no, it won't, will it? Because we're already getting flanking. Anyway, hey, well, he's in a town, isn't he? Yeah, so that's not applicable, that combat tactic. So it's just two to one odds. Um, with no modifiers. So let's have a roll on that. That sounds right, Grant. I think so. Ten. Sorry if the dice just <laughs> lands at me sometimes. I seem to do that quite a lot. It's Probably because I'm throwing it in a little box. I'm not really giving it a good roll, but you can hear me shaking this about it. Um, and it's, um, so a 10. Hmm, right, well, that's, that'll be a no then. Eh? Cancel less than 41. Right, okay. So that was the first check. The next unit is going to be 7. So that's the Fuhrer Brigade. Um, now... Yeah, he's he's not checking here. Well, he could he could check here or here, but let's see. This is going to be a six. This is going to be a four or five. So and then both the units. So this is this is going to be the one he's going to look at. So he's five, and then what did we say? There's another five in there, isn't there? So that's ten. 
to three. Ah, uh, yeah, the odds are better here, aren't they? Uh, sorry, well, it's 10 to three, it's 10 to four, it's 10 to five. Yeah, because IP adjacent supply that way, do you know? 10 to five. So, uh, yeah, it's two to one again. Um, and this time, the combat tactic would apply, wouldn't it? Infantry infiltration. Because that's not a town. So he would benefit from that. Um, yeah, that's right, because he's not actually flanking. So it would, it would, it would benefit, yeah. So there's a, a two to one, this time I've got a minus one. Try and get a bit of roll at the dice this time. Right, I did, but I can't see the bomber hang there. Oh, where are we? A seven. Well, that's probably not much better. So that gets, that's a six and cancel off less than three to one, yeah. Too high number, I'm afraid. So that's that. So that's the Fuhrer Brigade checked. Now, the next check would actually be this guy. He's selected number eight. Um, now he's just on his own. He's three against three, but this guy's in a forest and he's got adjacent. So it's actually three against five. So there's no check there. Um, next would be the infantry here. So this is three against three, but no, no other changes to that. So this is one to one odds. Um, one to one odds. Modifiers. Yeah, infantry infiltration would no, I wouldn't. He's in a town, so it's it's just one to one. There's no um. Oh, I keep putting the box away. Uh, one to one, no modifiers. Oh, 10 again. We're awful, we're awful high. Awful high tonight. Um, okay. And so, and then lastly, like I say, both the units in there are single step units. So, it, it, does, it does say that. It does say that check each active unit with, with at least two steps. So, the fact that they're stacked together and they're the stack's two steps, they're single units. Uh, I've only got one step, so I don't think we make a, a check there. Um, on saying that, hang on, this has been checked and that's been checked, isn't it? I suppose he could look here. However, they're single step units, so they can't. And it's the same case with this guy. This guy can't be a wage unit. So that looks like that, doesn't it? I think so. Yeah, well, that's going to be that. There's nothing can bounce back to the reserves. This is the only unit that's stacked with another unit, but they've got to be able to trace reserve supply to be able to bounce back to reserves as well. Um, so this guy can build an IP. He's in a town. He's already got an IP. So I think that's all that's going to happen. But yeah, I mean the forty seventh are in a bit of state. I just had a thought there. Hang on. No. Yeah. Ah, yeah. That was even better for us. I've just realised this card's come out before they've released their new, before the. Uh, right. Hang on. What am I missing here? Yeah, there's a card that deploys them, isn't there? Yeah, I was getting a bit confused. It, it's we need the Army Group B card to bring the units from the calendar down in the reserve units box, and then this card gets shuffled into the deck, and then when we draw this card, when we go to activate the Ninth Panzer Division, they're not on the board yet, so we deploy them. So it's quite good to have had this out first because if this had happened deployed them then they would have got an activation from that as well so that's another good one for us yeah i mean getting the army group card late is better 
Yeah, especially, obviously, if, if there's reserves. I know it's just that ninth Panzer division, but that's enough. That's fine. Uh, okay, I think that's going to be that. Um, so, that's another card out of the way. Uh, but now we do get the support card coming across. Uh, this could be a wee bit more interesting, I think. Um, oh no, because he's going to sign replacement point. Eh? It's not the, it's not the primary card. So and this guy's damaged. Um, this guy's damaged up here if he's on camera. Just. Um. So yeah, in the first command, the pickable is a sign a re replacement point. So. That's what's going to happen. Yeah, so they need to be able to trace reserve supply, which I think both can easily enough do. Yeah, they can. So we're looking for the highest number. So it's, it is the infantry up here. Um, so he repairs back to two strength and two steps. Um, yeah. That's right, and that is that. So, pretty quick. Now we're getting through the cards. Um, well, so nothing really happened much to, to cause us any trouble. So, maybe my thinking of what I want to do next might still, might still come about. I think I'm going to try and keep moving here, see if I can keep myself going. Um... So four cards left, seven core, eight core, five core, and eighteen core. Um, yeah, okay. So this is what I wanted to do. I wanted to be able to activate eighteen core again. I mean, unfortunately, the units got dispersed, or we might have been able to have an. Well, you know what? We might still be able to have a go at this guy. He's just built an IP as well, isn't he? Um. That was okay, I'm building an IP where he is. It, it doesn't matter, is it? It's only if he's... Um, yeah, yeah, there's nothing to stop him from building that IP. Uh, so I suppose that was a bit of a pity, but... Ever. Yeah, uh, my main thought of doing this before the 7 core was, I think I can get well, I definitely can get an, eight, an 18 core unit in there if I wanted to, so then getting this guy surrounded I mean, okay, he's not going to join any attack, but it then means that if I can get a retreat out of that guy he's going to take a step loss as well because he's not got a, a pal adjacent to him so, well there was that and also the thought that maybe I should consider the possibility of not attacking. I've got one, two, uh, there's one, two, and another unit under there that are all reduced. Uh, what is that? It only gives me two replacement points, that seven core card. I'm reluctant to think about that, the fact that I brought these guys on. Elite, you know, they want to just repair points. It seems a bit weak, but okay, I'll see what my thoughts are on moving some of these 18 core units about first. Uh, okay, the oh no, that's not gonna work. Damn, <laughs> I was just about to tell you that one of the other reasons I was wanting to put a unit in here was be nice to be adjacent to Houghton and adjacent to this detachment obviously. Um I was just about just about to start saying right I'm gonna move this unit one one two breaking zone of control and three into there but I can't do that because as soon as he moves into there he's got to stop. So as if any unit's gonna get in there it is gonna to have to be this one I think. Which I wasn't really wanting to do that with him. Um, I'm saying that. No, oh, well, I could just reverse what I was going to do. So, this guy can go one, two, three. Uh, one, two, breaking zone of control, three into there. This guy can go one, two, breaking zone of control, three.
three and eight here. So that's also keeping that guy surrounded as well. Um, so yeah, I'm just probably gonna have another way you go at this guy. It's a pity there was three units dispersed, I noticed. But it was a perfect when I got, I got A3, didn't I? It was a perfect w chance to like disperse and just unfortunate that I still had this card to draw, I suppose. Um, yeah, and what was I going to put in the marsh here? Yeah, this, I thought, why not bring the bracket unit from here? Um, one, two, breaking zone of control, and three anti marsh here. Um, so it's slightly less strength in there. But I, I don't, I don't want to leave it just open for the Germans to stroll in because it is a fuel marker, and that's causing them real grief just now, isn't it? The fuel issues. Um, and now I can also bring this guy one, opens up a space. Uh, it's bringing a green, green unit into the battle, but. The um, uh, now I don't know one. I don't think I don't think the unit in Rochford could get there anyway. He went one. Yeah, because he can only get there. There's five. There's five steps already in there. Yeah, but I don't really think I want to move the unit in Rochford anyway, do I? So it means there's only going to be these three units attacking here. But I think it's going to be 71 because he's only one strand. Um, yeah, I mean, there, there's risks. Should I just be, like, closing these guys off and not attacking, taking chances? I don't know, maybe. You know, maybe I should be. Because... I don't think they're going to get out of things now. I think they're kind of trapped. So it may, be, it may be silly to make these attacks. That last one going to A3, that was pretty horrible, wasn't it? Uh, right, and then there's the other guy down at St. Hubert, but I don't think he's he's still sitting there. He's not going to do anything. So I think that's all I've got. We do have three units that are dispersed. The dispersals will come off then. The, the end of the turn as well with the the fact I'm activating them but it's not gonna be that relevant I don't think. Um yeah so this is the only attack I'm gonna well consider anyway. So I've got three, four, five, six, seven and other units dispersed. Um so it'd be seventy one odds there's three units, three chip pools, and then one for a wheat is four chip pools. 71 odds, four chip pools. I could... I could chuck a tank battalion in, actually. That would give it eight to one odds and five chip pools. I think that's all I'd be willing to do. And even then, you know what, I might just want to keep that for that last attack and chuck everything at this guy, maybe. Because um, it's not going to be the best coming across the river. Um, I just wonder if I, should, if I should maybe not even bother attacking here. I mean, he is still going to get a combat tactic. He's got an IP. He's armour only in the woods. Oh, I think I'll, I'll have a go at it. It's maybe not clever. I always remember within the German game, you get to a point where... I remember it was probably Martin saying that it's more sensible sometimes to just surround some units and let them let them go into low supply, out of supply, but I don't really just want to sit there. I mean, these guys going into out of supply, that's a better state for them to be in. But this guy would just go low supply, wouldn't he? 
Right, okay, let's do this. Right, so... Oops, it is, is. Right. Throwing things about. Give me a second. Right, so the, the unit down the bottom is dispersed. And we've got four, so seven strength. Uh, right, sorry about that. Got a, another phone call interrupted thing. So seven strength. Um, let's say one of which is green. Uh, against one. So 71 odds. So, yeah, let's let's just do this. Why not? Let's just get more positive about what I'm doing. So one, two, three chip pools uh, for three units. Uh, one for wheat. So four chip pools. I don't think I want to play a card, to be honest. Um... I'm just kind of hoping that I mean, get some odds chats here, it'd be good. Um, I don't want to take any hits myself. I suppose that's the biggest worry is like if I take some A hits, which then it's going to look silly. Although that's what happened the last time we were attacking this unit, wasn't it? I uh, know why four chip pulls. He's got an IP as well, but. If we do get the IP, I can somewhere retreat any there, can't he? Nah, it's a bit it's a bit much to hope for really. One extra chip hole maybe would be better. Right, I'm just gonna take my chances with that. Um see how we get on. Okay, so Germans get to draw a card. Uh well they can't get a defender anyway, because they're surrounded. Nah, artillery. Um, now well, let's hope there's no artillery turns up then. Uh, what was that? That was activation of 17, uh, sorry, 66 core, isn't it? Uh, they're the ones that would be on the move now, I think. We've seen them for a while. However, okay. Um, so they've got artillery, we get a minimum only of one chip pool, so let's get the one and we'll see where we're at. Oh dear, uh, it's up here. It's a plan, I mean when I first, I first seen it, looked at that side, attacker of wheat, which we have, but <laughs> we've got a green unit in there as well. Oh dear, so it's an A1. Oh, this is going to go wrong again, isn't it? Right, I'm going to get the other three. Maybe I shouldn't, but I'm going to. Uh, uh, complete waste of time again. Uh, it's in the woods, so that applies. There's this large attack in the front, which would not go. Um, yeah, so unfortunately... One hit to us. Again. That guy's been a jinx, isn't he? Um, I suppose we'd take it on the green guy then, do we? The wheat keeps his strength, but yeah, I think I'll take it on the green guy. Oh yeah, he becomes not green anymore as well. Oh, is he a two? Yeah, he's a two to a one strand. I think one of the other ones was a three to a one, but... Um, uh, okay. Well, in hindsight now, it looks like we should have just... Probably just surrounded the guy and let things go, but... We might have to start considering doing some rep replacement points. I think, uh, come the next day... I'm actually thinking when I was going to put that chuck that tank battalion in there, I thought, why not just repair that ninth armored unit that's down there? Um, the problem is there's not an awful lot of eight core units, and there's some up here, and then he's away down, well, he's away down south of Bastogne. So, okay, um, right. The other thing that's going to happen: the dispersed, oh, they're all underneath here. Eh? There's three of them. There's one in there, the bottom of there. There's one in the bottom of there. There's one in the bottom of there. So they're all going to remove their dispersed. Uh, these two units were in town, so they can't build an IP. So I'll take the dispersed markers off, and and that'll be that. Well, so there's only two cars left. 
Germans don't have that many cars left though, so... Oh, sorry, three cars left I've got. So, the next plan is probably to have a go with a seven core, I think. Um, do something with them anyway. Okay, I'm gonna pause that just now, guys. Um, take a wee cut there and um, I'm gonna have to go and do other things for now. So, but I'll be back when I can. Hopefully, be a bit of motivation back to sit down and try and get this moved on a bit, but we shall see. Okay, cheers. Hi all. Right, German, German Impulse again. Um, see if we can get them doing something. Uh, some Thermi card. Another Dozen card. Uh, so the Fuhrer Führer Brigade, no fuel in the 23rd, so he is in there, in a low supply, isn't he? Um, yeah, so that car's going to get discarded, and I'm going to mark him out of fuel. Um, okay, so I've still got the 7th Army card, and actually this might be something of interest for them. So all the units down the southeast corner are I mean a couple out of supply allied units. Unfortunately their um their few um what is it? The fifty third core unit there which might have got involved is out of fuel. Um there's a big four strength armoured unit as well. Um because my guess is the activation's gonna be in here somewhere. So um so yeah, I'm pretty sure so, something might happen. <laughs> so we'll we'll have a look. So looking for the seventh army unit with the most non-bracketed seventh army units within two hexes. Um, and that will be the center point, and then everything, everything in the seventh army f from there within two hexes will activate. So, okay, let me have a look. Okay, I immediately first looked here, but I think it's here, isn't it? I think, uh, I think this guy here, he's also, uh, we start making a mess. He's also um, stacked with a unit, but he picks up, he picks up everything, I think. He gets this guy, this guy, this guy, here, also here, here, here. Right, yeah, he's getting the wall, isn't he? And he, it's a shame, he would actually pick up that guy as well, but because of fuel issues. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty straightforward, isn't it? Because we're getting all of the units there. So I'm going to remember that, um, oh yeah. So all the units activate. Activate the 7th Army unit within two axes and all those units. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, just looking at the rule book again. Once a unit is located, activate it and all units within two hexes, including bracketed units. Regardless of supply, also activate reserve units in the same core as any of the on-map active units. Uh, that's not going to apply. It's all six Panzer Army units in the reserve units box. Okay. Um, right, but all the units are going to activate, so... Let's go about that. Um, there is no roadblocks there. Ah, oh, some of them have still got the core objective, of course, haven't they? Uh, yeah, it's still within three of an allied unit. So, where is their... Yeah, there, there are my um, objective markers away to the west. And it's final position, so... They need to reach that, so that's going to stay put. Um, so I think we're going to move the core units first, don't we? Check German units for core objective marker one at a time of sending numerical order before checking any, any units via the normal movement methods. Yeah, so we're actually going to check all the 80 core units first regarding the core objective. Ah, yes. 
So, uh, yeah, I talked about that. I think this guy is some, going to come back and in here, aren't they? Because this is a unit within three. Okay. Yeah, so they're, they're all focused on this unit here. Because that's the only unit within three of the core objective. And if they can get rid of that unit, then that core objective's going away. So the next time they activate, they're, they're starting to move west. Which, <clears throat> that's that then becomes... Uh, a bit of an issue for us regarding our one because it'll be no, more than likely that it's going to start getting threatened. Okay, so uh, we are going in ascending order. So I think it's the unit here, number two. He's got number three underneath him. So he's wanting to get adjacent to this guy if he can. So yeah, I mean, he's he's. It's pretty straightforward here. Yeah, I think it's one, two, breaking zone of control, and three into there. That's where he's going to go. Now, this unit's wanting to do the same. He would like to find an empty hex, but he's not going to. Don't, he, he can't get up to here, because he'd have to come through this forest to do it. So, um, So... One, two, well, one, two, and then three back into the woods, so he could go there. Or one, two, three, four, five, well, he could actually go there as well. One, two, breaking zone of control, three, four in the broken, and then five up the road. <clears throat> so he can go at that hex or that hex, but then he's going to choose closer to his, is he? Um, yeah, I know, I was forgetting, they actually have... They actually have their own little tiebreakers before I think you would look at. Uh, well, is that the case? Tactical adjustments still come into it, don't they? So, the, the tiebreakers are, if able to reach more than one hex adjacent to an allied unit, move to a hex that would cause the allied unit to become surrounded, then to an unoccupied hex, then to the easternmost hex. So in actual fact, I think he's going to come here. Um, this guy was surrounded already even before this unit moved. So he moved to an un unoccupied hex. Now this guy can't reach an unoccupied hex. Um, the unit's already surrounded. So then he's looking for the easternmost. So one, two, three, four, five. So it is, it isn't here actually. Um, maybe a little strange choice. However, that's that. Um, Well, you know what, it's maybe not, because, well, actually, it probably boils down to the same thing, because these two are going to come up here too, aren't they? So, what's next? Unit 5 is next. So, he can reach here, here, or... See, none of them can get into this hex. So, it's only these two hexes. So, Unit five's got, got the same choice, here or here. Now... None of, none of them are empty. Now, it doesn't matter the fact that there's two in that and one in that, because it doesn't choose between that. It did just say easternmost. So he's going to come in here as well. That's six steps in there. And then, finally, uh, this guy's going to come in here, and there's five steps in there. I'll put them underneath him as well. Yeah. Yeah, I think that feels right. So that's just the movement of the 80 core units. So we've still got um, the 85th core units to to look at. And they, they, they'll be moving by the normal movement methods. So so let me have a look. Hey, we've, got, we've got the same position. We've been in this position a few times. This guy's in Elbrook with four strength. So none of the, these three units are all restricted to moving away from that. Unless they can reach, um, oh, oh yeah, he came across the river, eh? Is he on camera? Just, yeah, because he's active as well, isn't he? Yeah, within two. Oh, he's definitely going to move up to there. He's going to move. Oh no, it's not closer though, is it? No, that's not going to be closer to his army objective. Or is it? You know what? I think it is. Hang on. Yeah, this hex actually is one hex closer. 
army objectives just slightly. Yeah, I'll swing around and I'm gonna need to zoom out as well. Right there it is there. Well, it doesn't really look it by moving it up there. You wouldn't have thought that that was one hex closer, but it is slightly further north. I've just counted it and it is. So there you go. So I think he's going to move via movement method two. Move to hex both closer to units army objective and adjacent to an allied VP hex. Oh. He can also move adjacent to R1. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, he's he's going to tie break down to R1, isn't he? Because he can move adjacent to this VP hex or this VP hex, and tie breakers are the one that's closest to its army objective. So, one, two, three, you could reach this hex or this hex. Uh, well, this one's actually going to be closer to his army objective as well. So, um, one, two, three. Yeah, I don't know if I like that better than I'm moving up. No, to be honest, I don't like that. <laughs> I think I'd prefer him moving up to there because this guy's held out quite well. I mean, I think if, he's, if he survives this turn, I think he's gone. He's going next turn, but that still gives a bit more time. Um, Yeah, we're going to have to start moving some stuff down to R1, I think. Uh. Yeah, I think that's where that guy's going to move. So, okay, coming back to the SWAT. Um, now, these three, like I said, these three units here are all adjacent to this. They're restricted to moving away unless they can reach another hex. Um, now, if they were just staying there tactically adjusting it in this hex... Is an empty hex. It's also across the river. So both these units are coming, fighting across the river. So if they could go around to there. But we've looked at this before and they can't. Now, this guy could actually... Oh, no, he can't. He's he's surrounded as well. Yeah. All of them are stuck. They, none of them can get around to this hex, which is where they would like to be. Um, well, to be honest, this guy wouldn't bother about that because he's in an empty hex. It's already across the river anyway. Right, they can't, they can't do it, Cram. Come on, move on, move on. Um, yeah, so just, just what I'm thinking there. The unit down the bottom there, he would just, just stay where he was, wouldn't he? I just realised he, he didn't do anything. But oh, ah oh, no, he can't, he can't go out and in though, can he? No, because it's three to move into the forest. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he just stays where he is. Well, that's fine. Okay, so back to this guy. Well, this is the guy that was keeping this guy surrounded. And again, we still can't move him. I don't think we can. The thing is, though, he will he will support this battle here. So there's that. Okay. Right. Going by what I see then, that's... That's it. That's going to be all the movement. None of them are going to move. Yeah. Yeah, none of the rest of them are going to move. Okay. So, we've got... Well, actually, ooh, We've got three possible combat checks. However, I don't think the one at R1, because he's getting double, isn't he? Because this is five strength. Uh... Yeah, it's five against six, so because this guy gets doubled for being because that one's a city, so that's not going to happen, right? So next unit would be unit two here. So he can only check here, but he's getting he would get the support of he would get the support of this as well before the check here. So okay, so what have we got? We've got six. Um, and an R6, so that's 12, and then we've got 6 coming across the river, so that's 15 in total, 6 half, yeah, so 15, so it's 15 to 2, he's in a forest, 15 to 3, he's in low supply, 15 to 2, 
Oh yeah, this is just a, this is, that's 71 odds. So that's a go, isn't it? Now, we didn't have a support card, we didn't have any reserves. Yeah. Yeah, this is, this is happening. So, it's kind of unfortunate, because I think it would have been, yeah, well, that's what it is. So, he's joining the attack. He's going to lose his IP and join in the attack. And this, I mean, they want rid of this guy, don't they? Then they can get rid of that core objective and start moving. I mean, yeah, I know the other guy's in the VP town, but... Uh, okay, so... What's happening? Well, we'll draw... Now, they get artillery... Use artillery with all attacks, okay. So they get, um, I'm gonna draw a combat tactic. Right, I'll jump in the gun here, am I? <clears throat> no, I think everyone's all right. Okay, so, combat tactic. Oh, first SS card. I think that's another good draw for us. Well, yeah, and it's a reinforced battle. Yeah, <laughs> I think that's good. Oh, you're not shaking your head again, Martin. You know, um, uh, still not seen the army group card, which is great. Like that, just keep the ninth Panzer units till tomorrow. We'll worry about them tomorrow. Um, so reinforced battle, reinforced battle. No, because nothing can get in there because that's surrounded, and there's nothing down here. No, yeah, I don't, don't believe. And yeah, hang on, no, Grant. Um, something could come in here. He could go out and on. Um, right, give me a sec. Yeah, I actually think this guy will, which again, I feel like this is a bit of a bonus for us because it's taken another unit away from the attack here and I don't think there's going to be an attack here now well in actual fact they two units on their own probably because this one's coming across the river so I think he's going to move because it, it's an active or an active unit that it can reach the battle and like I say nothing can get in that hex there's nothing that can get in there but he can go um one, two, breaking zone of control, and three, back into there to reinforce the battle. So it's going to add on all one strength, but, well, yeah. And I don't feel like any restrictions were broken there, nothing, no harm done, I don't think. Okay, so, right, so we, we've got, let's count things up now, six and six is 12. And then we've got nine coming across the river now. So 12 and four is um, 16. And it's 16 to two. So it's eight to one odds. Eight to one odds and um, Uh, chip holes, sorry, I'm losing my thought there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight units, eight chip pools, two three step units. That's an R2, that's 10. One for the reinforced battles, 11. One for the artillery um, from the, the army card. Oh. What's my counting there? 13, was it? <laughs> ah, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12. Right, I'm using... I don't really do... I usually do that the other way about, so I've got the D12 just in case, haven't I? Right, that's right. 8 to 1. 12 chip pools. Right, let me double check that. Yes, 8 to 1, 12 chip pulls. So, he's looking like struggling this time, I think. 
pretty sure that guy's gone. <laughs> he's out of supply. Oh, yeah, that brings other things along, doesn't it? He's one step infantry. He is in a forest. So I he's got going for him. You need to see a lot of forest jits drawn, I think. Um, he's out of supply. So if defender attackers may draw one extra combat chat and may disregard one attacker. Hit. So that's when my D12 is not enough. So got a D20 there. So 30, 13 chits. Um, and he gets to ignore one hit. Right, and we can't play a combat tactic because the guy's out of supply. So I'm going to draw 13 chits. So I'll be back in a bit. Uh, okay, there we are. 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Um, well, we did get two forest chits, but I think the rest is enough to take care of everyone. <laughs> I mean, he only needs D1, so uh, I don't even think we need to count that up. To be honest, I didn't even need to show you this combat, though. I think it was always going to be... Oh, I suppose it could have been kind of freaky if I'd drawn... But I've got... 71, eight, eight, 271 chits and an 81 chit for D2, both D2s and a D3. So, okay, we're going to let that guy go, I think. Eh? And, uh, well, he survived, oops, sorry, he survived for a while, I suppose, but he's, um, he's gone now. Uh, okay, I'll get rid of the chits and, well, I don't think... In actual fact, we're doing anything else, are we? Um, this is the only other unit that we've not done anything with, but it's active, and his check would be... Oh, actually, it's three against three, isn't it? He has a two-step unit, so he's still going to check. Um, and this guy's four, but is out of supply, so it is a, a three against three. Um, however, he's armoured and it would be an attack from one hex and I get the feeling that um, oh there's a modifier though isn't it because we're playing an army card right I'll tell you what I'll, I'll clear the chits up and then we'll roll the dice yeah so it is 3 against 3 so it is 1 to 1 odds and <clears throat> because it's an army card that's uh, activating the the unit, uh, there's a minus one modifier for that, so I'm still doubting this is going to happen. So, one to one odds with a minus one. Ah, that's too high. So, eight knocks it down to a seven, cancel with less than three to one, or attacking from one hex. Well, both of them actually cancel it, so this one, what was a one? Yeah, cancel it. A one would cancel if only defender armor. That's the one I was thinking about. But I suppose we're having the minus one modifier. If we roll, we we all, we needed to roll a one there to reduce it to a zero to make the attack happen. So, so that's that. Okay. Um. Right. That's going to be that. He's not made a move, so he could build an IP. In actual fact, this unit would have been active. He's already built an IP as well, so. Um, so actually, yeah, he would have been an active unit, but out of fuel, so he can't do nothing. Apart from build an IP, he's already got an IP. Um, there we go. So, yeah, a wee bit more interesting move for the Germans that time than their last few impulses, quite a few impulses, to be honest. They've not done an awful lot. The only thing they did do is that armoured unit up beside Tavalonge kind of caused me grief with two attacks I had on it, didn't it? Um, yeah, that in fact, at A4 in total it caused, um, although I did disperse, didn't I? Um, however, right, okay. Right, I'm, I'm going to tidy things up there, take a wee pause. Um, we've not got many German cards left now. Like I say, we've still not seen that army group card. Three, four, five. We've only got six cards left, so we need to actually watch now, because we've still got three cards. However, there's probably only one thing I want to do now. And I'm not sure I actually want to do that, that attack on that elite armoured unit across the river. Um, 
I was thinking I probably shouldn't do it. I've got the unit surrounded now. You know, why not just move the units into a better place or repair a couple of points? That'd probably be the more sensible choice, but hmm, <laughs> I'm not so sure I pick the sensible options too often. So we shall see. Right, I'll pause this for now, guys. Um, I might even be putting this together to upload another wee bit we will see i don't know where we're at with that but i'll be back soon okay cheers <laughs>